Well, Steve and I are at the Streaming Media West Conference down in uh, Huntington Beach, and we came here specifically to see the fine folks from Telestream. And I'm here talking to Kevin Loudon, who is a sales engineer for uh, Telestream. How are you doing today, Kevin? I'm doing great. Thanks for coming by, just so, to see us. <laughs> my goal here is to see if I can keep you awake on the afternoon of the third day of a conference. So. Right, yeah, yeah, which is a hard thing to do. <laughs> there you go. So Telestream is one of my favorite companies because they make some really, really cool products. One of the main products uh, I rely on is Wirecast Studio, and you guys have heard me talk talking about uh, trying to get ready for Mavericks and the new machine and how I'm going to get that working. And these are the guys that make that great piece of software that makes the live show possible. So everyone nod and say thank you to Kevin for that. I'm sure single-handedly pulled you're, it You're very welcome. It was all me. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, they also make ScreenFlow, which is the best uh, screencasting software in the universe. Having You've heard me whine about uh, other applications on Windows that I just want to kill myself when I'm using. And Don McAllister makes all of his Screencast Online podcasts with ScreenFlow as well. So uh, another great thanks to the company for that. But what we wanted to talk about was a couple of, uh, one new product and one product I just didn't know anything about before. So why don't we start with the uh, new product? The new product, yeah, okay, so the new product is a, it's a player called Switch, um, and it's a, it's a, a media player for Mac OS X, um, and it's a multi-format player, so like you have QuickTime Player on your machine, or you may have VLC on your machine to play things that QuickTime can't play, or you may have uh, uh, media info on your machine to find out some information about what is this file and what can I do with it, how come it won't play, or something like that. So you have this kind of grab bag of tools. And you also you have use. to have two versions of QuickTime. You have to have QuickTime 7 yeah. and QuickTime 10. Right, exactly, because QuickTime 7 can do some things that QuickTime 10 can't do. So what we did is we're, we're starting to build this player that kind of combines all the functionality of all that. It plays QuickTime without using QuickTime. It plays MXF. It plays XDCAM. It plays... I've never heard of MXF. What's that? MXF is a, it's a file format like QuickTime. So it's a media exchange format. So it's a... It's a format that you can wrap a lot of things in. So uh, XD cam cameras. We're not going to talk about codecs. Let's not go down Let's, that rabbit okay. hole. <laughs> we'll, tr we'll try and do this without talking about codecs. So anyway, it can play a lot of things that lots of different players, you need a lot of different players to play this and this and this and this. It combines them all into one. So one player can play them all. One player will inspect them and give you all the information you want. And one player will allow you to change it or edit it and then export it to something else. Oh, really nice, yeah. so editor as well. Right. You, can, um, you can change the frame size, you can change the frame rate, change the format, the codec. There's that word again. <laughs> I, I, I spent about like seven that. months uh, digging into codecs once and I tried to find out what the standard was. Right. Well, Just well, go look that up, codec standard on Wikipedia. It's like, I, I printed out, it was 17 pages. Right. Well, uh, Telestream is a company that's been making a living off of different formats and different codecs. That's what we do. We bridge platforms. This thing uses this format and this codec. I need to get it over here for this codec and this format. That's what we do. And you guys are completely cross-platform and everything, right? Exactly. Windows and Mac, you do it all. Some things are just Windows, some things are just Mac, some things are both. Most of the desktop products that you use are both. ScreenFlow is Mac only. Oh, it is, okay. Well, Wirecast Mac's... will go both ways. Okay, yeah. all right. And some of the other ones will. Uh, so, so that's what we do. You know, do video we, codecs. We, yeah, we, we do transcoding of codecs. Okay, so you so, understand it so we don't have to? Right, so our player, exactly. So our player is built on this technology that we've been building for 15 years, yeah. right? So this is to called support, Switch, you called said? Switch, right. Now, I, I believe this is a teaser, though. We can't have it yet? You can't have it yet. It will be out soon, let's say. Soon. <laughs> I um, was accusing, one thing Telestream doesn't do is promise a date and miss it. But they don't also promise you a date. They love the word soon. If you want to know when it's going to come out, you can go to our website, uh, www.telestream.net slash switch, and you can sign up for the beta. Oh, I'll so, definitely do that. So you'll get email notifications and things like that as we get close. And I'm sure there will be a public beta for it. Then everybody will be notified, and you can sign up and get it. Very cool. So uh, do you have any idea what this is going to cost? Uh, the, the goal is to have a free player that will be available, and then a few... Uh, for fee versions depending on functionality. Okay, so like you can buy a WMV plugin for QuickTime, but uh, right. you don't have to. It's free, and then there's the studio, which has import and export capabilities, and then another one. So I think the initial version is actually going to be a, a commercial version, so it'll, it'll be for fee, but there'll be a free player that will come along eventually. Okay, so um, you also told me that the QuickTime, QuickTime is being deprecated. Tell me what about that again. Right, so... I. Uh, for some time, Apple has been telling everyone, especially software developers, but also users, that um, QuickTime is slowly going to make its way out of the operating system. 
Wow. Um, and I did not know that. I've been, maybe it's because I'm not a developer. And there's, yeah, well, perhaps. Um, and there's other technologies that are coming in behind it to sort of take up at least some of the, of the functionality. So there's things like AV Foundation and Core Audio and things like that that are, that are more modern frameworks. Yeah, that, QuickTime's getting a little long in the tooth, I guess. It's very old, right. And they, I can't speak for Apple, but I think they sort of had a decision whether they could keep tagging this along and sticking tape on it and wrapping wire around it to try and make it work. Or every now, sooner or later, you have to cut the strings. And, and they're pretty good at cutting those strings, <laughs> are go to something else. Exactly, exactly. Okay. So um, uh, one of the things that everybody's really worried about is, well, what am I, I need QuickTime 7. I need QuickTime Pro to do certain things. What am I going to do with it? Uh, that's where know, Switch comes in. That's one of the ways that Switch comes in, exactly. Right. So All right. it's, it's well, there we'll... to bridge that gap and, and, and have that functionality. Definitely looking forward to that. Now, I want to make sure we leave a little bit of time because um, you have a product, and now I've forgotten the name of it. Uh, episode. No, Switch. Episode. Tell right. us about Episode. Right. So Episode is uh, it's a multi-format transcoder. So it is a reformatter. So it'll take content from one format, ProRes, for example, and turn it into H.264 or Windows Media or so MXF. It's a video transcoder. A video transcoder, right. So it's a file-based transcoder. It's available for Mac and Windows. Um, Who we, would we, be the customer for this kind of product? Uh, if, well, the guy behind the camera just raised his hand. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, just about anybody here. You know, uh, we, you know, we live in this file-based world. There's no more videotapes and things like that. You've got a file that's coming out of a camera or it's coming AVCHD out of an AVCHD and you've got to turn it into something else. And it needs to be something else, so you need to transcode it. So that's what this does. Now, does that take advantage of all the multi-core cool hotness and that sort of thing? Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, it's a it's a you know it's a desktop application that's also scalable, so you can actually scale it into a large sort of rendering cluster. Okay. You can gang a bunch of machines together, oh, and neat. if you need to do high volume, uh, like well, we have a uh, you know a UFC Ult Ultimate Fighting Championship. Those those guys they get in the ring and they beat each other up. Um, they have a huge cluster of the software. And it, okay. and it, you know, it transcodes 18 cameras at four hours for one of their live events. All right. So when Steve, when Steve starts doing his 4K on, uh, you know, 12 uh, uh, GoPros, that's when he's really going to need that yeah, capability. Absolutely. Right? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, sure. So uh, how much does, uh, uh, I keep forgetting the name of the product. Episode. Epi it's just to make yeah. you say it again. How much does Episode There's have? actually three different versions. There's like a $500 version mm -hmm. and then a $1,000 version, which can do some more pro formats. And then there's a $5,000 version, which is sort of a, a high volume, stick on a server, put it in the rack. Okay, so a normal person would stuff. be more on the $500 exactly. end. Okay. But they can all work and kind of work together and collaborate together and uh, share work. Very cool. Yeah. I do like your pricing strategy that you have different tiers. So it's not, uh, you know, right. ScreenFlow starting in at 100 bucks. You can get your foot in the Telestream uh, stream. ScreenFlow <laughs> is very accessible. Oh, it is. It's very accessible. It really and, is. and really... Price accessible. Price accessible. Is it, yeah. is it accessible to the blind, do you know? Oh, that I don't know. No, I would say no. I um, haven't ever checked. I always I have to. Know. The word accessible is pretty important to us. Uh, so. I, I, what I meant was price accessible. But I think it's very accessible in the fact that it's got a very short learning curve. Yeah, yeah. I you can be moderately intuitive. capable with it easily, but right. you watch Don's, uh, Don McAllister's screencast online, you can learn how to use it well. Exactly. Well, I really thank you for your time, Kevin. This has been really enjoyable. And again, the company name is? Telestream. Over at? Telestream.net. All right, thank you. This just in, we found out that Telestream has run the Reader's Choice Awards 2013 Streaming Media Magazine winner for a webcast presentation solution on-premises. Congratulations. Thank you very much. <laughs> we couldn't be more proud.